Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Career Prep. In today's video, we'll solve a few single statement inequality problems. In this type of problems, the relation between the variables is given in a single statement by relationship, uh, relationship symbols like less than, greater than, equal to, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. This is one of the topics where marks can be scored easily if practiced well. Before we start, please subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon to get notification as soon as we post a new video. So let's start. Study the following question carefully and choose the right answer. You are given a statement here. M is greater than or equal to O, is greater than or equal to L, is greater than or equal to T, is equal to E, is greater than or equal to D. You are given two conclusions here. Conclusion 1, D is less than or equal to O. Conclusion 2, M is greater than or equal to E. You are given five options here and you have to select which of these options is the correct one. Now to solve this problem first, we will consider each of the given conclusions separately. So let's consider conclusion 1 first. Conclusion 1 is D is less than or equal to O. So first write the given statement. Now we have D here and O here. So to find the relationship between D and O, we have to move from D to O in the backward direction. So when we move from D to O in the backward direction, we get the symbols greater than or equal to, equal to, greater than or equal to and greater than or equal to. Now among these two symbols, uh, priority is given to the symbol greater than or equal to. But uh, since we are moving backwards, greater than or equal to uh, symbol flips to become uh, less than or equal to. So now the definite conclusion is D is less than or equal to O. D is less than or equal to O, which is also the conclusion 1. So conclusion 1 is true. Let's now consider conclusion 2. M is greater than or equal to E. First write the given statement. Now we have M here and E here. So we have to move in the forward direction from M to E. When we move in the forward direction from M to E, we get the symbols greater than or equal to, greater than or equal to, greater than or equal to and equal to. Among these two symbols, priority is given to uh, greater than or equal to. So we have greater than or equal to here. So the relationship between M and E is M is greater than or equal to E. So M is greater than or equal to E, which is also conclusion 2. So conclusion 2 is true. So both the conclusions are true. The correct answer is option A. Both conclusions 1 and 2 are true. Study the following question carefully and choose the right answer. The given statement is B is less than C is equal to D is less than or equal to X is less than or equal to Y is less than Z. The given conclusions are conclusion 1 B is less than X. Conclusion 2 is Z is less than or equal to C. You are given 5 options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. Now let's solve this problem by considering each of the conclusions separately. So conclusion 1 is B is less than X. First write the given statement. So now we have B here and X here. So you have to move in the forward direction from B to X. When you move in the forward direction from B to X, you get the symbols less than, 
equal to and less than or equal to among these three symbols first priority is given to the symbol less than so the relationship between b and x is b is less than x so the definite statement is b is less than x now conclusion 1 is b is less than x which is the same as the definite conclusion so conclusion 1 is true let's look at conclusion 2 conclusion 2 is z is less than or equal to c first write the given statement now we have z here and c here so we have to move in the backward direction from z to c when we move in the backward direction from z to c we get the symbols less than less than or equal to less than or equal to and equal to among these symbols the first priority is given to the symbol less than but since we have moved in the backward direction the symbol less than flips to become greater than so the relation between z and c is z is greater than c so the definite conclusion is z is greater than c conclusion 2 is z is less than or equal to c this is not the same as the definite conclusion so conclusion 2 is not true now we have found that conclusion 1 is true and conclusion 2 is not true so the correct answer is option e only conclusion 1 is true study the following question carefully and choose the right answer the given statement is m is greater than or equal to o is greater than or equal to l is greater than or equal to t is equal to e is greater than or equal to d the given conclusions are conclusion 1 t is less than o conclusion 2 is t is equal to o you are given five options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one now let's solve this problem by considering each of the conclusions separately conclusion 1 is t is less than o so first write the given statement now we have t here and o here so you have to move in the backward direction from t to o when you move in the backward direction from t to o you get the symbols greater than or equal to and greater than or equal to so you have the symbol greater than or equal to here but since we have moved in the backward direction the symbol greater than or equal to flips to become less than or equal to so the relationship between t and o is t is less than or equal to o so the definite conclusion is t is less than or equal to o now conclusion 1 is t is less than o this is not the same as the definite conclusion so conclusion 1 is not true let's consider conclusion 2 t is equal to o first write the given statement now we have t here and o here so we have to move in the backward direction from t to o when you move in the backward direction from t to o you get the symbols greater than or equal to and greater than or equal to so you have greater than or equal to here but since you have moved in the backward direction the symbol greater than or equal to flips to become less than or equal to so the relationship between t and o is t is less than or equal to o so the definite conclusion is t is less than or equal to o now conclusion 2 is t is equal to o this is not the same as the definite conclusion so conclusion 2 is not true now we have found that conclusion 1 is not true conclusion 2 is not true but before we mark neither conclusion 1 nor 2 is true as the correct answer let's consider a few points now we have found that both the conclusions are not true when we look at the both the given conclusions we'll see that the variables are the same in both the conclusions they are t and o now we have found that the definite conclusion is t is less than or equal to o 
now let's combine both the given conclusions now when the symbol less than and uh, equal to combine together we get the symbol less than or equal to so on combining both the equations we get t is less than or equal to o which is the definite conclusion so clearly this is an either or or case so the correct answer is option c either conclusion 1 or conclusion 2 is true study the following question carefully and choose the right answer the given statement is p is greater than or equal to q is greater than or equal to r is equal to s is greater than or equal to t is greater than u is greater than or equal to v is equal to w is less than x the given conclusions are conclusion 1 p is greater than t conclusion 2 is p is equal to t we are given five options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one so let's solve this problem by considering each of the conclusions separately conclusion 1 is p is greater than t so this is the given statement we have p here and t here so to move in the forward direction from p to t when we move in the forward direction from p to t we get the symbols greater than or equal to greater than or equal to equal to and greater than or equal to so among these symbols the symbol greater than or equal to is given a priority here so the relationship between p and t is p is greater than or equal to t so the definite conclusion is p is greater than or equal to t now conclusion 1 is p is greater than t this is not the same as the uh, definite conclusion so conclusion 1 is not true let's move on to conclusion 2 p is equal to t now this is the given statement we have p here and t here so we have to move in the forward direction from p to t when we move in the forward direction from p to t we get the symbols greater than or equal to greater than or equal to equal to and greater than or equal to so among these symbols priority is given to the symbol greater than or equal to so now the relation between p and t is p is greater than or equal to t so the definite conclusion is p is greater than or equal to t now conclusion 2 is p is equal to t this is not the same as the definite conclusion p is greater than or equal to t so conclusion 2 is not true so now we have found that conclusion 1 is not true conclusion 2 is not true but before we mark the correct answer as neither conclusion 1 or 2 is true let's look at a few points we have found that both the conclusions are not true and when you look at both the given conclusions you'll see that the variables are the same in both the conclusions now we have found that the definite conclusion is p is greater than or equal to t on combining uh, both the conclusions we have the symbol greater than and equal here so when greater than combines with equal to we get the symbol greater than or equal to so on combining both the conclusions we get p is greater than or equal to t which is the definite conclusion so clearly this is an either or or case the correct answer is option c either conclusion 1 or 2 is true study the following question carefully and choose the right answer the given statement is m is less than or equal to n is less than or equal to r is equal to j is less than k is equal to l the given conclusions are conclusion 1 j is greater than m conclusion 2 is m is equal to j 
you are given five options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one let's solve this problem by considering each of the given conclusions separately now conclusion one is j is greater than m first write the given statement now we have j here and m here so you have to move in the backward direction from j to m when you move in the backward direction from j to m you get the symbols equal to less than or equal to and less than or equal to among these symbols priority is given to the symbol less than or equal to but since we have moved backwards from j to m the symbol less than or equal to flips to become greater than or equal to so now the relationship between j and m is j is greater than or equal to m so the definite conclusion is j is greater than or equal to m but the given conclusion one is j is greater than m which is not the same as uh, the direct uh, which is not the same as the definite conclusion so conclusion 1 is not true let's look at conclusion 2 m is equal to j first write the given statement now we have m here and j here so you have to move in the forward direction from m to j when you move in the forward direction you will get the symbols less than or equal to less than or equal to and equal to among these symbols less than or equal to is given preference so the relationship between m and j is m is less than or equal to j so the definite conclusion is m is less than or equal to j now uh, conclusion 2 is m is equal to j this is not the same as the uh, definite conclusion so conclusion 2 is not true now we have found that conclusion 1 is not true and conclusion 2 is not true but before we mark the uh, answer as neither conclusion 1 nor 2 is true let's look at a few points now we have found that both the conclusions are not true now when you look at the variables in both the conclusions you will see that in conclusion 1 it is j and m and in conclusion 2 it is m and j so if you write m is equal to j as j is equal to m then in uh, you'll see that the variables in both the conclusions are the uh, same now let's look at the definite conclusion here you have found that the definite conclusion is j is greater than or equal to m here you have found the definite conclusion as m is less than or equal to j which also means that j is greater than or equal to m so the definite conclusion is j is greater than or equal to m now let's combine both the given conclusions now when the symbol greater than combines with the symbol equal to we get the symbol greater than or equal to so on combining both the conclusions we get j is greater than or equal to m which is the definite conclusion so clearly this is an either or or case the correct answer is option c either conclusion 1 or conclusion 2 is true study the following question carefully and choose the right answer the given statement is p is greater than or equal to q is greater than or equal to r is equal to s is greater than or equal to t is greater than u is greater than or equal to v is equal to w is less than x the given conclusions are conclusion 1 u is greater than x conclusion 2 u is less than or equal to x you are given five options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one so let's solve this problem by considering each of the conclusions separately now conclusion 1 is u is greater than x now this is the given statement now we have u here and x here so you have to move in the forward direction from u to x 
when you move in the forward direction from u to x you get the symbols greater than or equal to equal to and less than so clearly you can see that the symbol greater than or equal to belongs to category 1 and the symbol less than belongs to category 2 so there is a mix of uh, symbols from the two categories here so a definite conclusion cannot be derived between u and x because there is a mix of symbols from the two categories since a definite conclusion cannot be derived between u and x conclusion 1 is not true let's move on to conclusion 2 u is less than or equal to x so this is the given statement you have u here and x here so you have to move in the forward direction from u to x when you move in the forward direction from u to x you get the symbols greater than or equal to equal to and less than so clearly you can see that the symbol greater than or equal to belongs to category 1 and the symbol less than belongs to category 2 so there's a mix of symbols here so a definite conclusion cannot be derived between u and x because there is a mix of symbols from the two categories since a definite conclusion cannot be derived between u and x conclusion 2 is not true now we have found that conclusion 1 is not true and conclusion 2 is not true but before we mark uh, the correct answer as neither conclusion 1 or 2 is true let's look at a few points now we have found that both the conclusions are not true the variables in both the conclusions are the same it's u and x now we have not we have not been able to derive a definite conclusion between u and x but there may be three possibilities of relationship between u and x that is u may be greater than x u may be less than x or u may be equal to x now let's look at the two given conclusions we have the symbols greater than and less than or equal to here so from these two symbols all the three possibilities can be obtained so from the two conclusions uh, all the three possibilities u is greater than x u is less than x and u is equal to x can be obtained so all the three possibilities can be obtained from the two conclusions so clearly this is an either or or case so the correct answer is option c either conclusion 1 or conclusion 2 is true study the following question carefully and choose the right answer the given statement is s is less than or equal to p is less than or equal to a is equal to r is greater than e is less than or equal to d the given conclusions are conclusion 1 a is greater than d conclusion 2 s is less than or equal to e you are given five options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one now let's solve this problem by considering each of the conclusions separately now conclusion 1 is a is greater than d so this is the given statement we have a here and d here so we have to move in the forward direction from a to d when we move in the forward direction from a to d we get the symbols equal to greater than and less than or equal to so clearly you can see that the symbol greater than belongs to category 1 and the symbol less than or equal to belongs to category 2 so there is a mix of symbols from the two categories here so a definite conclusion cannot be derived between a and d because there is a mix of symbols from the two categories since a definite con uh, conclusion cannot be derived between a and d conclusion 1 is not true let's move on to conclusion 2 s is less than or equal to e 
this is the given statement now we have s here and e here so you have to move in the forward direction from s to e when you move in the forward direction from s to e you get the symbols less than or equal to less than or equal to equal to and greater than so clearly you can see that the symbol less than or equal to belongs to category 2 and the symbol greater than belongs to category 1 so there is a mix of symbols here so a definite conclusion cannot be derived between s and e because there is a mix of symbols from the two categories now since a definite conclusion cannot be derived between s and e conclusion 2 is not true now we have found that conclusion 1 is not true and conclusion 2 is not true so both the conclusions are not true and when we look at the two given conclusions we'll see that the variables in both the conclusions are different so clearly this is a neither nor case so the correct answer is option a neither conclusion 1 nor 2 is true study the following question carefully and choose the right answer the given statement is q is greater than or equal to p is equal to r greater than or equal to n is less than g is greater than or equal to e is greater than s the given conclusions are conclusion 1 g is greater than p conclusion 2 g is greater than or equal to p you are given five options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one now let's solve this problem by considering each of the given conclusions separately so conclusion 1 is g is greater than p so this is the given statement now we have g here and p here so we have to move in the backward direction from g to p when we move in the backward direction from g to p we get the symbols less than greater than or equal to and equal to so clearly you can see that the symbol less than belongs to category 2 and the symbol greater than or equal to belongs to category 1 so there is a mix of symbols here so a definite conclusion cannot be derived between g and p because there is a mix of symbols from the two categories now since a definite conclusion cannot be derived between g and p conclusion 1 is not true let's move on to conclusion 2 g is greater than or equal to p so this is the given statement we have g here and p here so we have to move in the backward direction from g to p when we move in the backward direction from g to p we get the symbols less than greater than or equal to and equal to so clearly you can see that the symbol less than belongs to category 2 and the symbol greater than or equal to belongs to category 1 so there's a mix of symbols here so a definite conclusion cannot be derived between g and p because there's a mix of symbols from the two categories since a definite conclusion cannot be derived between g and p conclusion 2 is not true so now we have found out that conclusion 1 is not true conclusion 2 is not true so both the conclusions are not true when you look at the two given conclusions you will see that the variables in both the conclusions are the same now we have not been able to derive a definite conclusion between g and p but there may be three possibilities of relation between g and p g can be greater than p g can be less than p or g can be equal to p now when we look at the two given conclusions we have the symbol greater than and greater than or equal to so from the two conclusions only two possibilities g is greater than p and g is equal to p can be obtained so only two possibilities can be obtained all the three possibilities between g and p cannot be obtained only two possibilities 
can be obtained from the two given conclusions. So clearly this is a neither or nor case. The correct answer is option A. Neither conclusion 1 nor conclusion 2 is true. The viewers, please go through this video till you have understood the concept. Practice more such problems to improve your speed and also to become perfect with the concept. Please do watch our video for solved problems on multiple statements inequality. If you have liked this video, please like, subscribe and share this video. Thank you.